Yo, what up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So first off, I just want to say thank you to you guys, all my subscribers, new subscribers. This channel is growing, and if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have any of this. So your comments, your support, all your feedback, truly appreciated, and I just want to say thank you guys. With that being said, we're just gonna jump into a quick topic today. I still get lots of questions on this and it's how to store your peptides correctly so that you get the most out of them. Knowing and implementing the best practices for peptide storage can greatly lengthen their stability and integrity regardless of composition. Lyophilized peptides will remain stable at room temperature for 30 to 60 days. This is usually during transportation time, right? However, upon receipt, all peptides should be stored in the refrigerator under 4 Celsius or 39 Fahrenheit for maximum stability and longevity. Peptides stored at this temperature can last one to two years unmixed. If you are not going to be using the peptides in one to two months, it is preferable to store the peptides in the freezer at negative 18 Celsius or 0 Fahrenheit. Peptides stored at this temperature can last two to three years, unmixed. Freezing is optimal in order to preserve the peptide stability. It is important to avoid repeat freeze-thaw cycles. Moisture contamination is especially prone to occur when using a peptide immediately after withdrawing it from the freezer. To prevent uptake of moisture, allow the peptide to come room temperature before opening. So if you are gonna be storing your peptides in the freezer, it is imperative that you take it out only one at a time. You only take out the peptides that you're using. Keep the rest in the freezer, whatever you're using, take it out. Let it defrost until it gets room temperature. After that, then you can reconstitute it and this will avoid moisture getting into the bottle. Reason is because the frequent thawing and refreezing as well as exposure to air can greatly reduce the peptide's long-term stability. Many researchers prefer to determine each experiment required amount of peptides and then allocate this amount into separate vials as necessary. Very imperative because that's going to be for stability and potency of your peptide. So taking it out of the freezer, allow it to become room temperature and then you can reconstitute it. Storing peptides in solution. Reconstituted peptide solution generally remains stable for about 30 days when refrigerated at 4 Celsius to 39 Fahrenheit. Backwater is my favorite because it acts as a preservative and will keep the peptide fresh 28 to 30 days. So the peptide storage guidelines pretty much when storing peptides, remember to store peptides in a cold, dark, Place. Avoid repeating freezing and thawing of peptides. Avoid exposure to the air. These peptides, they come vacuum sealed for a reason. Some vials are much more vacuum sealed than the others. So it takes a while to extract the peptide from the vial. So people will actually add air into the vial so it makes it easier to extract the peptide. The one thing I want you guys to understand, it may make it easier to extract but you putting the air into that vial is oxidizing the peptide and it's actually ruining its potency and stability. Avoid light exposure. Avoid storing peptides in a solution long-term. So if you're gonna be storing them for over 30 days, that's not good. Even let's say GHKCU, that 50 milligram vial, if you're doing 2000 micrograms a day or two milligrams, that's gonna last 25 days. That's 25 times that you're puncturing that vial and extracting. To get to the end, there is gonna be a lot of potency already gone from that vial and that peptide. Less milligram is gonna be better. So I know there's a 100 milligram vial of GHKCU. I would recommend getting a 50 milligram vial. I recommend just making a little peptide cubby or there is little containers, I'll show you guys here, that you can put your peptides in. And I recommend that you put them somewhere in the back on a shelf that you don't use um, as much because every time you put something on a shelf or you hit that shelf, it's gonna shake and that's gonna shake your peptide. I know I'm a little much with this, but it's just because if I'm gonna be injecting something into my body, I wanna make sure that it's full potency and I get the most out of it, right? So I always make sure this is dark. It's gonna keep it safe because there's pe uh, paper towel in here. So it's gonna keep it nice and secure. And you never wanna put your peptides in the door because what happens? Every time you open your door, slam the door, open the door, the peptides are sliding and they're getting shaken. So you always wanna stick this on a shelf in the back, somewhere on a shelf that's being least used. I always put mine on the second shelf down from the top 
in the very back corner and that shelf I pretty much just use very, very little. So that way I don't mess with the peptides. So that's a great way to store your peptides and it's also a great way to preserve your peptides to keep the potency. With that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. If this video has brought you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.